What's up everybody, we're back. 8.1 miles, 11 minutes on route. We just got the new update. Let's take a look here. Go into software. So we're on 13.2.2. .2. So now this is the same software that we have on the long range Model 3. Currently we are in standard mode, supervised full self driving, max offset 25%. By the way, it is Christmas Day. Everyone be safe out there. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everybody. We're going to be heading to the Decatur DMV. Kind of a... We don't have our paperwork yet, and they're <laughs> obviously closed, but... I did say apply light turning force to the steering wheel. I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Got 201 miles. Currently 62%. This truck does have a free supercharging for three months. I also noticed on the full self-driving where they were giving the three months free, they also sent out another update for a free month and I had 30 day trial. So it looks like it expires on, do you see it there? Anyway, we got five months of supervised full self-driving for free. I don't think it, it showed it on the app, I believe. That's pretty awesome. It is awesome. I've, so far, I've cleaned the windshield twice on the interior. It still needs another one to get right up in the front there. It's a tough windshield to clean. It sure is. Yeah. So far, we're making good lane changes here, getting in the correct lane. Another update for Cybertruck is the rear view cam. 0.5, 1.25, or 1. I actually like the 1.25. That is so much better. All right, kind of hesitating. Kind of did a little jerky motion there, but let's go to the 1.25. This is nice. It actually, it's a little bit more blurry, but you can see much closer. Currently 422 watt hours per mile on 73 miles on the truck. I feel like that noise went away now at speed. There, When we were pulling out, there's this kind of like a buzzing noise coming from the front around 40 to 50 miles an hour. Again, we're going to have to keep our eye on it. I almost want to, if it keeps popping up, I'm definitely putting in a service ticket. Now let's see how she does Christy around this bend. On previous V12 <laughs> versions, we'd go in about 65, so we're at 70 now, slowing down slightly. When it's a 35 mile an hour yeah. curve. Mm -hmm. 55. Yeah, much better. And one thing about the Cybertruck is it feels so big. It, it feels like you're going slower than you really are. <laughs> yes. In general. Now we got this car creeping up behind us, still in standard mode, speeding up. And again, the goal always is zero disengagement, zero intervention. Let's see if we can get to the DMV. Let's see if we can do an auto park. I'm paying attention to the road. It wants me to touch the steering wheel again. Very sensitive on the driver monitoring. All right, so we have no cars in our rear here. Are we gonna follow the lane out? Looks like it. This lane does end. I don't know if I like that behavior. I wanted to move over earlier. I feel like it's yeah. done both, but yes. majority of the time it defaults to just running the lane out. <clears throat> right, changing lanes. Very, very slow lane change. Doing 74 and a 65. That guy is late for Christmas lunch. 85. <laughs> Super smooth on this Christmas afternoon. Oh yeah, so someone wanted me to give them some details about the Cyberwatch. It was actually Mike, Mojo Mike. So pull it up here. So now that we're on the 44.25 on the Cybertruck, we can get the little watch app here. It shows the fan. Then also you can switch between your vehicles. And there's Phoenix. Then you can also check on the your home. Well, that's for uh, charging. And then you can see the solar there. Now when you're on solar, you do have quite a few options. You can see the kilowatt usage today. Uh, power wall charging at 48%. shows you very cool information here. So that's a cyber watch. It's kind of, I do like having the key as uh, on your watch. That is super cool. 
I love that feature, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen some people ask on X, is this enough for me to go out and buy a watch, an Apple Watch? First of all, if you don't have Apple Watch or Apple phone, I wouldn't even worry about it, you know? But I definitely say it's probably not worth to buy the watch just to have, you know, the app support. Although the key is pretty awesome, you know? It's like buying a seven, you know, four or $500 key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the way, the re how I feel about that is they have the little Model 3 key. I still haven't bought one, even though it's so cool, you know? But it's kind of like the watch idea. Little hesitation there, choosing lane. I feel as they progress on this V13, it's really going to get good at uh, prediction where it should go. Nice smooth stop on this update. Oh. Got the green left. We were just talking about the little device. I was telling Christy that there's a wand that you put a magnet, like a microfiber, on the inside, and then you can clean the inside of the windshield from the outside. Yeah, we need to get that. Yeah, for sure. It, it's You almost have to be a contortionist to get to that front windshield. All right, not bad on that first left, a little over the line. And what I've been reading is, you know, I mean, I don't know how true this is, but Cybertruck probably needs more miles to kind of get the feel of its fit, you know. We'll see. It does tend to run on the line a little. Nice smooth stop. Got the green light. 1.2 miles, four minutes on route. I'm so used to looking at this in the night mode, but I know it doesn't show up well in the camera in the daytime. So far, zero intervention. Kind of like traffic for Christmas, more than I would, would have thought. Usually it's pretty quiet. Yeah. All the shopping centers are empty. This would probably be a great time to try some actually smart summon. <laughs> in the parking lot Great with no idea. traffic. Yes, not yeah, a bad so maybe idea. we'll try that after this video. And we got the green light. One thing I wish is I wish we could hide this whole menu here and maybe even move the destination over here like it is in the Model 3. I always liked it right here. Although this is great for the passenger to be able to um, navigate. Do 43 and a 35 with traffic. There's that noise again, right at 43. So I'm glad we can reproduce it because it does sound strange. At first I was thinking, is it a wheel bearing? Let me know if you have a cyber truck and if you get any weird noises around that 40 mile an hour range. It almost sounds like a scrubbing. As you get faster though, it does go away. I'm merging over for a turn. That was a very chill behavior there, how it kind of slowed down getting ready, preventative. Welcome to the Decatur DMV. This is where we're going to get the plates. Eventually, probably a couple weeks, takes them a little while to send the EDRS after you purchase. And it is empty today. That was pretty good. Zero disengagement, zero intervention. Yes. Little eight mile drive. Very nice. Looks like she's pulling in the back here. Let's see what she does <clears throat> if she tries to park or not. So we're on version 13.2.2. Looks oh. like she might just do a pull in park here. Let's see. Kind of right in the middle of both lines, though. Um. Let's see what happens here. All right, we're completely <laughs> stopped. All right. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. And that's going to wrap it up, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe. Definitely leave your feedback below. And let me know what you think about that noise. I'm definitely putting in a service ticket today. I don't know if I could live with that. No, we'll have to get that fixed. Yeah. Yes. And thank you again. Have a great day.